Hi everyone, my name is Raniela Hernandez and I'm a public health major and I'll be using the skills that I've learned from my classes and talking about through the intervention of treatment considerations for youth and young adults with serious emotional disturbances and serious mental illnesses and co-occurring substance use by substance abuse and mental health services administration. For this intervention, they use the framework Preceed Proceed, which is consisted of first steps that helps determine the issues, barriers, and anything that will help the intervention to be successful. And the proceed comes within the intervention being implemented and evaluated throughout the process. And throughout, this is the target population is determined and that is the youth and young adults with serious mental emotional disturbances and serious mental illnesses and who are at risk for co-occurring substance misuse or substance use disorders and within this assessment that's being run within the framework is that favor environmental assessment factors and barriers are determined that influence the youth and young adults behavior and which consisted of Peer behavior, parental behavior, and societal characteristic that plays a role in impacting the behavior of youth. And another is the trauma, abuse of parents, neglect, and community violence, and death of a loved one also plays a role in impacting the mental health wellness of the youth and young adults. Behavioral outcome. And after through the assessment, Process intervention is determined with treatment practice that is being used and for this one they use the cognitive behavioral therapy which identifies maladaptive patterns of thinking emotional response or behavior and substituting them with effective approaches teaching them skills related to managing emotions also challenging negative thoughts and problem solving skills treatment ranges from 3 to 12 months of weekly and twice monthly series sessions in both group and individual formats and within the adaptation of this intervention it was widely used across genders ages 11 to 20 and diverse groups of races and ethnicities it was the study was also conducted into outpatient settings community mental health centers and school-based health centers some of the challenges that they come through is with young adults having difficulties in engaging and retaining in treatment due to the factors of peer pressure, shifts in autonomy, and decision making in young adulthood. The CBT intervention also provides tools that help individuals understand triggers for substance use and identify healthy ways of coping. And there are after prayer programs that provide the youth and young adults with additional support services who may be at risk for relapse. And the implementation of this intervention is that motivational techniques were used because of its adaptable for multiple cultures as the process of change and motivational enhancement can be tailored to the values, beliefs, and experiences of individuals from different ethnic, cultural, and racial backgrounds. Staffs are also must be trained to screen for identifying areas of needs of youth and young adults by using the Prepare Toolkit from National Association of Community Health Centers. It must be trauma-informed and knowledgeable about SED, SMI, SUD, and fully understand the guidelines, methods, and structure for utilizing given treatment, give practice with clients. Some of the outcomes associated with the treatment practice is that the significant reductions that follow up in frequency of marijuana use, general substance abuse, the severity of PTSD symptoms, severity of depressive symptoms, and frequency of trauma associated cognitions. And at the last process of this framework intervention is that the evaluation and effectiveness of this intervention showed that it was very helpful in engaging young adults. In treatment, providing them with the needed self efficacy and helping them assess their own readiness and motivation to change. And in conclusion, the use of these screenings and assessment really helped detect the symptoms among young adults to be able to receive the early treatment they needed before risk 
before their mental health becomes worse. And the use of model really helped determine the best intervention for the youth and adults as well. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much.